Why, hello, Internet! My name is Prunk, and today I got a special treat. Well, it's at least a special treat for me. Uh, I, you click the video, so I assume you want to watch it, but I get to open them. So, I got Into the Inklands, but not one, not two. I got a case. Uh, and this is the first time in my adult life I've ever got to open the case. I'm terrified. I feel like I made a terrifying financial investment, and uh, my girl is probably going to yell at me later. But... Until then, you guys get to see all the nice, amazing packs I get to open. So I do want to give a huge shout out to Outer Limits Burrow. Uh, it is a comic book store over here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, who gave me an amazing price on this. This is not sponsored by them. They just hooked me up pretty well, and I very much appreciate that. So please, if you need any comics or anything, check out Outer Limits Burrow. Uh, they do do shipping offers a lot. So... In the meantime, let's open up some packs. I am so excited to get into this. There are so many things. I don't even know what I want to play yet. And this case is really going to decide what I play this meta. So I don't intend to buy any more boxes after these. So let's get this done. All right, I'll be honest. I do not have some of the best recordings. So I'm going to do my best. And hopefully this video turns out well. Uh, we're going to rip up the tab from the bottom. The nice thing is these guys were actually shrink wrapped. I removed the shrink wrap just to kind of save some time. But I love the fact that they have been already shrink wrapped. It just makes it feel like you're buying a secure product, because I know a lot of people are always afraid of like packs being pulled open. And for our pack packs, we have Piglet, Jafar, and Mickey. I'm going to start with Jafar, because he's kind of the one I'm hoping I get the most out of. Um, I think a lot of people are really trying to pull the Jafar stuff. I, it's a really cool deck. I don't think it's going to be the top deck, but it is probably going to be the first deck that a lot of people jump onto. So we got a... I gotta do it this way. This is gonna be hard to do it. This mirror. Jet Sam, Magic Carpet, Louie, Minnie Mouse, Moana, Orville, Chernabog's fa uh, followers, Pluto, Ursula Uncommon, and then for our rares, we got RSLS Legacy. It is the uh, Hollow, or uh, not the rare, the uh, one of the better ships. And, ooh, we got a Morph right off the bat. Awesome. And, actually, I'm more excited about the Morph than Bell's House. Um, good item deck. So, not too bad. And then now we get these, like, location cards that kind of say, hey, this is everything, uh, how to play locations, and so on. Uh, not a bad first pack. I'm excited more about the Morph than anything. I'm going to put these rares aside and put these over on this other one. And Skippy, Pua. Vault Door, Helga, uh, Nutsy. I gotta try and raise this up a little bit higher. My camera webcam. I just have a basic webcam. It's nothing too fancy. Uh, Neverland, Magic Broom, Wildcat, uh, Wild. Wait, what? Wildcat's Wrench, Wildcat, Map of Treasure Planet, a Captain Hook, and an Airfoil Shiny. Not horrible, but we can probably do a little better. All right. Ooh, this one feels shiny. I feel it. Um, I will find my way. Magic Brooms. Louis. Gizmo Suit. Uh, Milo Thatch. Heal. What has been hurt. Chernabog's followers again. Rolly. Another Ursula. We got John Silver. I'm starting to get the pirate build right now that I've been playtesting. Play a Maui and a Billy Bones. Okay. Um, pirates are showing up to work, I guess. We're going to put these to the side. And go on to the next pack. So far, nothing too crazy. But we're on the first three. We'll be fine. we got a long way to go. Chubby. <laughs> Cubby. I'm sorry. Ch <laughs> wow. Okay. Cubby. The Firebird. Repair. Chief Tulu. Moana. And Patch, who is my favorite Dalmatian of all time. Slight. Wait, is his name Slightly? What a weird name. Uh, Mountunami, uh, Nala, and we got a Helga Sinclair, who's not too bad. We got a Simba. Um, this one's a pre it's a secret rare. Um, not the one I've been hunting for. Unfortunately, not playing this. And we got a Scrooge McDuck, who is a hollow secret rare. Let me kind of show that one because it's actually worth showing off to. And it is hollow. That's a pretty good looking hollow. I will say that. So we'll put those over. We got two secrets in the first in that pack. Not too bad. All right, we're going to skip through some of the bulk and go to Madam Odie. Ooh, we got Magic Magica um, Day Spell. I think she's going to be good, but I don't know how to 
play her yet. And a Vault Door Hollow. We got too much to go through every single comment, so I'm not going to name off everybody. We're going to skip to the good stuff that you guys probably want to see more. But we'll do, maybe do a couple more packs of some of the more common stuff and uncommons. All right, airfoil, firebird. I actually really like the art of this. I wouldn't mind getting this as a common foil. I think it looks really cool. Uh, Captain Amella, during your turn, I haven't seen this one actually. During your turn, this character gains evasive. Uh, not too bad for a 1-5, could be worse, uh, or could be better. Uh, Chief Tui, Milo Thatch, Cleansing Rainwater, Jafar, but not the one I want. Um, Nami, Nani, Kit Cloudkirker, he's been playing a lot. Um, Baloo, the bodyguard version. And Heart of Tefiti, and nothing too fancy. Matuni is a hollow. Uh, probably the worst pack I've seen. Oops, we won. Other way. All right, skip through some of these, and let's go to the Lamp. Not a bad one at all. Mini Mouse. I actually was playing with this card. It's not too bad. It's... Um, Sings for three. And Chernabog's Followers. Could be better on that rare look. Alright, I will find my way. The Brooms, King Louie, Robin Hood, uh, Kakamoras, Dalmatian Puppies. Oh, he's cute. Uh, Diver Bomb, Flynn, Little John, and we got Maui's Exile, Place of Exile. We got another Scrooge McDuck, and Lena Saberwing. Nothing really that great there. Uh, Scrooge McDuck, during your turn, this character gains evasive. Uh, okay, he's a 3-5. Uh, during your turn, and whenever this character banishes another character in a challenge, he can play an item free. It's kind of like a Maurice, uh, but Maurice lets you draw, which I think is just better than playing extra items, but I don't know yet. I might have to play with Kaimatoa and play some item decks if this keeps up, because I got two of them, and one of them's hollow. It's kind of neat. We're going to skip all the way to Simba. Woohoo! Pluto. Um, good solid rare card. Uh, huge stat line. Bodyguard shift. Uh, this card is going to be a problem in the meta. I know it. We did get a Windy Darling as our secret rare. Uh, not really the best secret rare, uh, but we did get a Hollow Kaboom. I'm actually excited for that. I actually am going to need a place out of that. So not, not a bad... I'm more excited about the rare and the Hollow than the secret rare. Probably the worst secret rare you can get in the set. Unless there's something I don't know about Windy. Uh, Jet Sam. Let's see. We're going to skip to... Doo -doo, I'm going to hide this from you guys. we got Aurelian. Gyro Snare. Fang. Another field card. And Tinkerbell Yellow. Um, make a new friend. When you play this character, you look at the top four cards. You may reveal a character card into... Uh, or you may reveal a character card into your hand. Put the rest... She's basically just... Um, character aerial basically so again i'm not very these packs are kind of underwhelming for some of them i know there's a lot of really good secrets and i know there's a lot of good rares but haven't been seeing them i haven't have i pulled a legendary yet no we're what six packs in i think um so we're gonna skip through here and captain hook's rapier and then we got the queen's castle uh this card is gaining two lore and lets you draw really good card i feel like this is gonna be splashed into ruby amethyst pretty well we got another Mufasa, uh, nothing crazy, and for the Hollow, it's a Pluto, but not the good Pluto, it's Blue Pluto. Uh, damn, man, these packs are making me a little sad. I haven't pulled a Legendary yet. That is not a good ratio. I will come up with the ratios at the end and tally it all out for us, so hopefully this will give you some good insight on what comes into the packs and what are the ratios at, and I'll put that at the end of the video. All right, uh, screw, too far ahead, but from Tala's place, we got my has my heart set, and we got Peter Pan, the Floodborn. We this one does come in an enchanted, but I didn't pull that. Another Peter Pan, and a Moana. Uh, Peter, I was giving him crap in another video, and or talking with people, and uh, it's he's coming back to haunt me now. I guess he wants me to play him, but make a shifting one, which he, I guess he did, but yeah. All right, we're going to skip through here, and we got Captain Hook's Rapier, and then Ursula the Sea Witch. Not the Ursula I want to see by any means, but we then got a Liar, Lily, 
Tiberus Rook is our secret rare. Uh, this guy. Uh, when it, gosh, I, it, sorry. The camera I have to hold upside down, so I can't read it. But first, it is when you play this character, chosen char opposing character gains reckless. That's similar, to John. Whenever one of your other characters is banished, each opponent loses one lore. He's pretty cool as a. a he's definitely an interesting tech card as a three cost. Um, I might consider something with him. And then we got a Dalmatian puppy. Oop, and dropped a location card. Hollow Dalmatian puppies. I feel like are going to be going in. Why not try and get 99 of them? 99 holly, hol, hol, holographic uh, Dalmatian cards. All right, we're going to go to On Your Feet Now. Really bad rare. Jeez, uh, I'm going to find a bunch of these, I bet. Uh, Cursed Merfolk, really good rare. And a Mickey Mouse Hollow Foil. Uh, not that great, but the Merfolk is playable. Hopefully this is just a bad box. I have not pulled a legendary yet, have I? Oh my goodness. I have not pulled I don't think I've pulled a single legendary card. Alright, well here. This is why they gave me it was such a good deal. That's what. Alright, we got Cubby again. We're gonna skip through here. Go to Pluto. We did find an extra Pluto. I think I need more of those. Along came Zeus. Best rare in the game. This is probably gonna be a ten to fifteen, twenty dollar card for a long time. Uh, just a very, very, very good card. I'm happy for that pull. We got Maui's Fush Hook and a Map of Treasure Planet. It is a hollow fo uh, a foil uh, rare, so that's kind of good. I don't know if I'll actually play this. Maybe I put this into my deck for like the uh, my, my Pirates deck if I have to build that. So that could be worse. But not a bad pack. But I'm still looking for some legendaries. Uh, we're going to skip to the end. Uh, the Bayou... We got Prince Eric, uh, under pretty underwhelming secret rare in my opinion. The genie, really good secret rare. Very happy about that. And then we got Zuko's place uh, for the foil, uh, Cusco's place. I'm happy about the genie, but still no legendaries. And I got nine packs left. Yeah, nine packs left. Wow. Oh gosh, that is a horrible, horrible ratio. How is that? Wow. Yeah. All right, come on. I'm expecting one now. Come on. We're going to skip to Tinkerbell, Prince John. The boss is on a roll, and there she is. Whew. All right, first legendary, and it's a good one. This is definitely one of the more playables in the set. Whenever this character sings a song, you may play that song from the discard from your discard pile for free. Uh, then put that card in the bottom of your deck. Phenomenal. Extremely powerful legendary card. And very happy I pulled this. Amazing card. And then we got, ooh, good. A good rare for our Pirates build if we are going to... It looks like we may be building Pirates at this rate. Uh, but we got a Hollow of the Legacy. Not a bad pack by any means. Um, I am super... I'm actually happy about that now. Did I put the rare in here? Okay, one's on. So we got our first Legendary, at least. So I think from other people I've seen, like they're expecting about four Legendaries per pack. Four to five is kind of the golden spot. Uh, so hopefully it's a four or five, uh, just near, hopefully they're just near the bottom. Um, we're going to go all the way to how far I'll go. Thaddeus. And we got a Huey, a Senzi for the really bad secret rare, and a Skorup. Not a pack I care about, unfortunately. All right. Pull me another Ursula or Jafar. Um, I would love to try and see some of this stuff. I have not gotten an Enchanted from this box, which is really disappointing, too. Uh, we're going to scroll. Oh, I pulled too far ahead, but we got Robin Hood, and we did get a Shernabog. So Shernabog is a great secret rare. Um, just lets you... Oops, my, I know my camera can't do much, but his effect. Uh, for each character card in play, they, uh, in your discard pile, costs one less. And then for our Hollow, we just got a Simba. Chernabog was definitely a consideration and playing like more of a puppy spam because I, I love stuff like 101 Dalmatians. It was my favorite movie as a kid. I'm going to skip up ahead and go to Sorcerer's Town. 99 puppies. Robin's bow. Astratos the Titan. This is okay. Box saved. I got the two legendaries that I want um, out of this box. 
So this is the, I only got two so far, but it is the two I wanted. So I am happy with that at least. And then we got a princess Oop. as I drop her. This is really hard to do this web camera upside down. But Jafar, oh, I am so happy about that card. That is exactly what I wanted for Christmas. This is great. And we're going to put those there, here. Um, I'm going to put, actually, Ursula and Jafar can go separate. Jafar, Ursula was what, a couple packs over? I think they were all just near the end. All right, so we got Jafar and Ursula in one box. That is a win so far to me. I feel like those are going to be the fetch cards of the set. So getting both is a pretty, it's pretty special. All right, we're going to skip ahead a little bit. And brooms, 99 puppies, a hit cloudker, a friend like me. I actually am interested in making a blue deck if I get Grandma Tala too. But friend like me, really good. Uh, we got a Rafiki and another Jet Sam. So nothing crazy here. So we are down to three packs left. All right. So let's start. Two legendaries. That's, oh, yeah. It's the two legendaries I want, but just two legendaries. We're going to go to Thaddeus. And it is a Bernard. We did get Kita, who is on a lot of people's radar right now. So again, a really good legendary at least. So at least... We did get some good legendary. Oh, double legendary and a hollow Robin Hood. Uh, right here. Hollow, Robin Hood, and Kita in the same pack. Um, chances are I'm not going to be getting an enchanted at that point with this, though. And oh, gosh, I hate this webcam. Um, but Robin Hood foil and a Kita in one pack. That is a definitely big winner. Ooh, that Robin Hood is spicy. Man, I, I love that card. All right, we got two packs. I am doubtful on getting an enchanted i get my i did get my four secret or my four um uh, legendaries but uh, maybe at the because i got that hollow legendary i might not be getting an enchanted is i think is like the rule to like boxes so we're gonna skip up rise of the titans we got a lucky puppy bell's house and forbidden mountain shout out to them who are just constantly great content all right one pack left I've, I, I'm honestly, I'm uh, obvi this obviously started really poorly, but I pulled four of the best legendaries in this set that I feel like everybody are going to be wanting. Uh, so this is going to be hopefully the best box ever and just left it all at the end. Um, so we're going to go one by one. Jet Sam, Magic Broom, Grandma Tala, Olympus would be that way. Peter Pan, Quick Patch, I Got a Dream. Kit Cloud, Mr. Smee, a Heart of Atlantis, and a secret Madame Medusa, and the lamp. It's a foil lamp, so that's a cool. Um, so I have mixed feelings on. I I pulled the legendaries that I need, um, and that everybody needs. So these four cards are obviously super good, and almost any kitten was the one blinded. Yeah, there we go. So these four cards, I'm happy with this because, again, it is at least, it's giving me options, but it doesn't really solidify what deck I'm playing. As of right now, it's Purple Steel because I'm playing both these cards in my Purple Steel deck. But we are going to move on to box number two. All right, we are on box number two. Um, let's uh, I'm actually put these to the side, too, just so I don't get them mixed up. So box number two, here I go. First pack enchanted. Come on. Give me that feel. All right. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Quick patch. Um, I've got a dream. Kit Cloud Kirker. Mr. Smee. We got a Maui the Whale. And Little John for secret. And Rufus. What the heck is Rufus? When this character is banished, you may put this card into your inkwell. Exert. Oh, that's not bad. Um, this is a, this is an interesting one, Mr. Rufus. Uh, four, five, five inkable card. That's interesting. I don't think it's good, but it's interesting. I'll put those to the side. And Jafar pack. Come on, give me another Jafar. If I could play, pull the playset of Jafar in four case, uh, in a case, four boxes, I couldn't be happier. Um, we got Rise of the Titans. We got Hades. 
Uh, we got Windy Darling and another... Yes! This is a good one. A foil Out Genie. Very, very nice for our secret rare. Uh, Windy Darling, again, is kind of like the worst secret, I think, of the set. Um, but uh, I can't complain about Genie. So really good pack, especially a foil one of those. That is a good pull. Alright, let's see. I would love to see Jafar, Ursula's. Those are obviously the fetch cards, I think. And I still have no idea what I'm building at this point. So we got all the way to Lithos. I actually like this card in Steel. Um, Helga Sinclair for my rare. A, the secret rare Helga Sinclair. Really cool that they're both in the same pack. Uh, she is shifting on top of that one. And then we got a Treasure Guardian for the rare. Uh, not too bad. Helga actually does see some really good play uh, in Green Steel. So that, yeah, not bad. That's my first one of her, I think, too. So it, I don't know if I'll be able to play her, but we'll see. It's She's only a secret. All right, we got Skippy, and then we're going to skip up to Wildcat, Jafar, Mr. Pluto again, the, the rare, um, something I desperately need uh, if we're playing yellow, Aurelian Gyro Sensor, and the Queen is a my foil, cold foil. Uh, could be a better pack, but the Pluto is definitely good. People will be searching for that Pluto, I know that. We're going to skip to It Calls Me, and then Baloo, Heart of Feedy, and uh, did I not have this exact disappointing pack earlier? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm just going to put that aside. Nothing to speak about that. So with 12 Enchanted, I honestly expected a, um, one per box, but that could have been a f pipe dream of that, but we'll see. Um, we got Scrooge McDuck, Rise of the Titans, Queen's Castle. Uh, Smufasa and Prince Eric. Another secret rare foil. Um, that's cool. I just don't think he's that good. Whenever this character is banished, you may banish a chosen character. I mean, I guess maybe if you're doing Teeth of Ambitions on him, and you sing that and kill something, and then you get double killed, then it could be good. But I'm I'm not crazy about him being uninkable, unfortunately. But he does quest for two lore, so he does a lot, to be fair. He's not bad. Alright. Ursula... Hydros, Simba, Pride Lands, and Agrabah Common. That's a that's actually a pretty good one. This is a pretty good uh, uh, ink uh, location card in my opinion. Just low cost and questing for two for free. That's pretty nice. And it's got a decent stat at five. Yeah, this one's stuck. Where are we going? Open. Gosh. All right, Firebird, and we're going all the way to, oops, I opened too many, Fang, another Genie, that's my playset, okay, oh, wait, no, that's three, I got three of them, so I'm probably going to get one more, so I might be playing purples for sure, and then we got Nottingham, so not a bad pack, if I can get one more Genie, I'm for sure going to be playing purple this set. All right, Forbidden Mountain. Let's go all the way to Simba. We got Audrey Ramirez. Grandma Tala, our first legendary this one. She is a awesome card. I am super interested in playing this blue deck. Um, I, this is my first real le legendary from there, though. I, I don't... I got to figure out a build for her. But if I do get enough, I will go for a build of blue. Because Grandma Tala, I find super interesting as a card. And then I will find my way. I'm sorry, pull this too soon. So, pretty good pack. We got our next legendary for this set. Put this to the side. What are you guys hoping to pull? I've got to assume everybody wants Jafar, right? Jafar and Ursula have to be the fetch cards of this set, which is kind of nice that there's not just two. And all these legendaries are good. The problem is you need a lot of these legendaries for different decks. I think yellow is the exception. Uh, you don't need them, but they improve it. Magico Day spell, Ursula. And speaking of yellow uh, legendaries, we got Perdita. So she is one of the more cheaper ones from what I'm seeing right now, but I think that's kind of surprising. I think it's going to depend on how quick aggro or how good aggro can really be. But Perdita is a really good one, and we got Nala as well, which is cute. So not a bad pull right there. Uh, and we got our second legendary, and it just happened to be a puppy. Love it. All right, I'm still hunting for Jafar or Ursula. I need. I really want to play Green Steel or Purple Steel. Uh, but I need uh, I need one of those guys. 
We're going to go to Little John. We got Alice, the T Alchemist. Exert chosen opposing character all and all other opposing characters with the same name. It's an interesting card. Um, we got Tinkerbell, another secret rare, and then Kaboom, another hollow Kaboom. That's actually my second. I really would like a play set of that. I think it's going to be a really cool hollow. But not a bad pack at all. I'm happy with that. I think I was more excited about the hollow Kaboom, to be honest. We got Chubby again, and then Domination Puppies, and then Madam Odie, and another Peter Pan, another Peter Pan, and the Sorcerer's Tower. Play some brooms, guys. Um, hollow, uh, uncommon. It could have been better. I, I, I'm just not a fan of Peter Pan. Or any of the Peter Pan stuff. Except, like, obviously Big Tank is insanely good. But even my pirate deck, I don't play him. Because he's not a pirate, which is stupid. Uh, so, Slightly Lost Boy. Dewey. We got Simba. And we got a Huey. We got a Sheriff of Donningham. There is an OTK that I managed to pick up those beasts before they skyrocketed, thankfully. And Moana. Um, could be better, but I think somebody's going to be looking for that Sheriff of Donningham. I have the beasts. I could build that deck. Um, just don't know if I want to. Uh, Queen of Hearts. Starkey. I've got Sorcerer Tower. Starlight Vile. Treasure Guardian. And a cute little Rolly. Look how cute fat and he is. I love Rolly. Uh, not... Alright, hopefully my mic caught up. It looks like it has. Magicka Dispel all the way down to Genie. We got Captain Hook's Rapier, and along came Zeus. I do need a playset of this, regardless of what I'm playing. And another Prince Eric, and oh, on a Dalmatian Puppy Hollow. I'm going to want a four. That's not too bad. I wonder if these guys are the same number. I would assume so, but they're probably not. We'll put those to the side. Okay, we're about halfway through this box right here. If I can open it. And we're going all the way to Stratos, Heart of Atlantis, and a Forbidden Mo Mountain uh, Hollow. It could have been better. Ooh, that one opened really easily. That was nice. Sir Hiss. And then all the way to the uncommons, we got Starkey, 99 puppies. This boss is on a roll. Woohoo, Mickey Mouse. This card is interesting. I have no idea what I would do to play with him, though. Um, he doesn't have any kind of protection, and really for four costs. Uh, then he just becomes, like, pay two to summon a character, and then he's just going to die. So I don't know how I feel about him. Maybe in a Musketeer deck. Maybe, but we'll see. And then we got a Simba Cub. Uh, we did get a legendary, so we're at three legendaries. It's kind of funny. These are the three legendaries I didn't want uh, so far in comparison to the... I got the four legendaries I absolutely wanted last time. Uh, so interesting how that planned out. Um, this is not helping me decide on what I'm building whatsoever because I'm not getting consistency. All I got is the genie so far, so I would really need one more of those genies, and that kind of helps me, guides me to purple, but we'll see. Going to go all the way to Maui's Hook, Robin Hood, and along came Zeus Foil. Yes, this is a foil I definitely want to see for along came Zeus. I wish this was enchanted, but uh, that I think that completes my playset of that. I'll have to double check it, but good pack. I'm happy about that. I need I need four of along came Zeus. Right, do do do. Bayou, a friend like me, another little Lyle Tiberius Rook and Dewey, uh, underwhelming pack. We're down to let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This pack, we have five packs left with this one. Do 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 do. How far I'll go? Uh, we got lucky again. Ariel as a secret rare and Schumer and Talisman. I think this is, I have not seen that many of these. Um, I'm planning, I might be playing them in my red deck, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, we're down to four. Need one more legendary to make even. I would not mind a fifth, but we didn't get a hollow legendary yet. But like, it looks like all the good stuff is at the bottom of the set, guys. Uh, they are building anticipation, so 
We are down to, oops, okay, yeah, let's map a treasure planet. Piglet, he's a, I didn't realize he was super, uh, super rare. Yeah, he's a super good card. And Captain's Hook's Rapier, okay. Um, still only three legendaries, and I got three packs left. If I can pull a double like I did last, that would be awesome. Um, or just, you know, give me a legendary. I have not gotten any enchanteds yet out of two boxes. That's unfortunate. We got Captain Hook, though, for the rare. We got Milo Thatch. This card is very tough to deal with. Um, and he is an interesting tech card. I am, I want to play with him more. And then we got Quick Patch. Uh, so we did get our fourth legendary. Just, again, not quite the legendary I was hoping to see. This is not helping my decision in the slightest i thought it would have at least like a two of something i wanted but we'll see we got two packs left i no enchanted yet and two boxes that is really scary um all the way to magic broom bell's house john silver and a jet sam again wow all right i am nervous two boxes one pack left i'm gonna kiss it for luck this needs to be a enchanted that it would be insane two boxes without an enchanted in a case is ah oh, that would be very very sad all right we're gonna go magic broom king louis robin hood kaka something uh kita tinkerbell prince john chernabog rafiki Bernard and Ke wow, what a disappointing box. That is unfortunate. Oh man, let's take a look at this. We got Gramatala. So in one box we got Gramatala, uh, Perdita, Mickey Mouse, and Milo Thatch. Uh, that is about as of the market standing on 222 today. That is about 56, um, and then 20, so uh, 76, and it's Milo at about 50 bucks. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's about 120 bucks. That is about what I paid for the uh, for these boxes. But I want to just compare that to our first box where we got Ursula, Jafar, uh, Hollow Shot. I didn't even get a foil legendary in that box. That's sad, man. And Kita. So Jafar at 55, um, uh, Ursula at 45. So there's 100 bucks right there with these two cards. A Robin Hood normal is about 45 as well, and Akita, which is unpriced at the moment. What are you at? About 20 bucks roughly. Um, so that is an insane difference in that value with those two boxes. It is disappoint. That is the most disappointing box I think I've ever opened in any card game, unfortunately. And I played Yu-Gi-Oh, man. I played Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time, and I feel like I've come across more disappointed in that one box than I have ever in any card game. Uh, so that's box number two. Let's focus on box number three, and I'm really hoping that luck turns around because I need something good to justify this to myself. All right, we are on box number three. I need some good luck. I don't, like, I. these boxes are cutting it to the edge, and I, uh, yeah. I just hope to see Jafar and Ursula. That's really the two I need. I haven't seen an Enchanted, which is really crazy, but we're going to go to Captain Hook's Rapier. The boss is on a roll. Madame Medusa and a lamp. Hollow lamp is kind of cool. Um, so I want to talk. Madame Medusa is an interesting card that I didn't think I would like. Um, I'm debating if I want to put her in versus Lady Tremaine, but I don't think she's better than Tremaine yet. Uh, I could be wrong, but I just think there's too many threats that even though I can't target something, it's worth me playing something that will. So, yeah, I'm going to put that to the side. Pack number two. Never seen so many empty packs in one house right now. This is crazy. Uh, Bayou. Uh, we got Huey again. Map of Treasure Planet. And Patch, my favorite. Ho I will actually probably seek out a playset of hollow patches just because Patch is my favorite puppy. I actually have a stuffed animal of Patch from like when I was like six years old. I still have that dog. It is, it, it's, uh, I always told myself I was going to give myself, and give it to my kids, but I, we are not having kids. So, um, I'm going to keep it forever for myself. And so we got magic carpet all the way to Farius, 
And then with the bareness, this is my first bare necessities. I'm pretty sure this is my first one. This art card is such a good fetch. And we got John, Jim Hawkins, which is not helping my case of I don't know what legendary deck I want to play because this is my first Jim Hawkins now. So thanks, Jim. And we got cool little spaceship stitch. I kind of wish he was a pirate, but, you know, whatever. Um, Jim Hawkins coming in with another hollow, or not hollow, but a legendary. Um, that's, what is that? Is that one of every legendary at the moment? Where am I at? I think I'm missing Lucky Dime and Hydra, which I don't really want to see either of those cards. So, and a Maleficent, uh, which I have not even seen this card. Whenever this card quest, you may draw a card. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, uh, but yeah, I have not seen any of those, and I kind of don't want to see them. I want to see Jafar and Ursula, please. And we're going to go to Starkey. Magicka de Spell. John Silver. Maui Whale. And a Dalmatian Puppy Hollow. Right on. Okay. Um, not the best, but, you know, i got to get through the duds and before I get my Enchanted. Because I, if I don't get an Enchanted from a case, oh my goodness. The internet, I think, would go ablaze. We're going to skip up to Captain Hook, Helga Sinclair, and Bell's House. Okay. Um, still nothing there. All the way to Last Ditch. And then Gustav, the giant. Interesting card. Uh, RLS Legacy. I, if I am playing Pirates, then I'm going to need a play set. I think that finishes it. And Chief Tui. Ah. All right. We need some legendary luck. Mwah. Going to kiss it. And all the way to I've Got a Dream. Kit me a morph i think this is only my second morph as well which is kind of scary too we did get a helga with that morph and fang a uh, hollow rare not a bad pack right there i'm pretty happy with that one i do need more morphs because morphin i have something there's going to be a morphing deck and people are going to sing power rangers instead so we need to get a place at a morph all right all the way to uh, can, these could be morphs blue uh, another alice and Magic Broom. Uh, kind of tired of seeing Baloo at this point. Alice is interesting secret, but I just don't think she's going to be played that much. I don't know. It's going to be... Unless somebody's playing Puppies, and I'm just plop that down on Puppies a lot. And if Puppies become meta, I'm playing Alice. Uh, we go to... Ooh! Wait, no, that's not it. I got... Gosh, I got thrown off. Uh, Titans, uh, Lithos, and then went to Fang. Scrooge McDuck. I think that's my third. And... Ooh! All right. We did get a... Foil Ursula Legendary. Very, very nice. Super happy about that. Um, wow. Okay. That was a good pack. Uh, foil Ursula. That will go... I think that's like the first time I've actually pulled a valuable foil. Like, other than like legendaries. Or uh, like, uh, what do you call them? Uh, the enchanted cards. It's very rare where I'll get like the legendary ones that people want. Uh, so really excited about that. That puts me at two for the Ursula. If I can get a non-foil in this set, that would be nice. Or even another foil would be even better. And, oh man, that would just be incredible. And I can add, that solidifies me to play green. So we're going to go all the way to Hydros. We got Ariel. Little John. And how far I'll go. How far I'll go. I love that song. It's so catchy. All the way over to Wildcats. Oop, pulled too many. But we got Pluto. I think that's, I don't know, that's three or four. Um, Aurelian Gyro and Wildcats. Foil. Um, good pulls on the Plutos. I am going to be needing them. But again, I kind of want more. F At this point now, I want more for a little bit more than Pluto. Because um, I'm leaning more towards green, it looks like. And all the way to Minnie Mouse. Madam Odie, and another Madam Odie, just one hollow. Um, it's a, could be better. I don't know if I'm going to play with Mini. I really, I'm, geez, I'm, it's going to be tough to kind of figure out what I need to play with just based on these guys. Obviously, I'm going to be doing some trades, uh, but it's going to be tough. Hey, I jumped a little far, but we got Chernabog. So another, this is my number two. So 
yellow is looking pretty good so far. We got a Sheriff Nottingham and into the or the Pride Lands uh, as of my foil. This is really pretty as a foil. Um, I like that. They did a good job on that one. Um, but yellow's starting to look pretty solid in my opinion too. Um, that's two Chernabogs. I got a, per a Perdita and she's relatively cheap. So I could probably get her pretty easily. And Akita, which is really good too. All the way to the end, we go to Lithos, the Lamp, Tinkerbell for a secret, and Float Sam again. Kind of boring. Not a, not excited. Oof, my hands are starting to hurt. I've never opened this many packs at a time. Usually, like two has been my max that I've ever had, but I don't, I don't, I rarely have two packs at, um, two boxes at the same time. All the way to Nala, we got the Queen's Castle. Oh, we did get hit, Ursula. Oh, that is number three. We are probably playing green, guys. We are playing green. And a McDuck Manor. That is incredible. Oh, yes. Love it. Um, give me one more Ursula in box number four. Or if you want to give it to me now, that is cool, too. But I am likely playing green of something. I'm playing an Ursula deck. I know that. Maybe green purple. Uh, just being able to sing consistent friends, but you don't have that much removal. All right, we are going to Magic Brooms, Pyros. I think it's our first one of that. Uh, Moana, Born Leader, and Bestow Gift. It's not a gift. Two Ursulas, one Foil Ursula. That is a good box. Milo Thatch, and all the way to Robin's Bow, Madam Odie. Uh, Maui's Place of Exile, um, On Your Feet Now, super bad rare, and a Hollow Simba for a secret. That's not too bad. I mean, it's a good card. I think it can be a good card. Draw two cards. Uh, whenever you challenge this card, character challenges, uh, he ca plays this character, and whenever he banishes another cha uh, character in a challenge, during your turn, you may choose a card, draw two, and discard, or deal two damage. Like, he's not a bad card. He's got good stats. I just, he's very costly. Um, and it's kind of hard to play a big costed things like maybe if i go blue steel i might consider that but i i don't think we're playing blue steel this set all right all the way to little john and we got stitch the covet agent another piglet not bad for our yellow and kit cloud is the rare uh, hollow foil so that is yeah <clears throat> we are down to three we are at six packs left and with those six packs, we have pulled three legendaries. Still no enchanteds. Three boxes in, no enchanteds though. Everyone's like, oh yeah, there's the polls are probably gonna be really high because there's 12 of them. But I think Ravensburger's starting. To, they they got us on the hook, and now they're playing the greed card. They're, they 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 looked at Konami, and uh, let's see, it calls me. Sorcerer's Hat, Gyro Garilus. And Miss Bianca. I actually like this card. Um, a fourth cost singer can be really helpful as a two drop. Um, and she's still a 2 2 stat line, so it's not bad. We are down to. This is five packs left. One. Come, give me an enchanted. Like, how embarrassing would it be for en no enchanted in one box? All the way to the end. We are going to Simba. Curse Merfolk. This is my second one. So green is definitely looking better. Stratos and Dive Bomb. Okay. Uh, not a. I mean, Merfolk, I'm going to need now uh, for sure because I'm pretty solid on green, I think, with the Ursulas. All the way to the end. Tiana's Place. Friar Tuck. Jafar. Heart of Atlantis. And yes! Ooh, second Jafar. Oh, he, he, he wants me around. That's what it is. I am. Okay. Second Jafar. I got two Jafars and three Ursulas. I might be. Let's let's see what happens on the next box. Um, but we got three packs left. I don't want to think about that. If I get a Jafar Enchanted, oh man, that is going to be beautiful. Um, I don't know if I get rid of it. Like I, I I don't usually keep Enchanteds, but I may keep that one. And speaking of which, oh, I, I spoiled it a little bit. I opened it too quick. We are going to go, I don't know if you saw something, but Heart of Tefiti, Mufasa, and Sorcerer's Hat as the Enchanted Rare. Oh, man, my, my webcam does not do this justice. It is a beautiful card. Sorcerer's Hat. 
Tap one, name a card, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it is the name card, put that into your hand. Otherwise, put it on top. I love stacking my deck kind of things. I don't know if there's enough support for that, but we need to put that into a sleeve right away, please. Not the fanciest enchanted that we would want, but it is an enchanted, and I was starting to get nervous that I wasn't getting any. Um, so we can say that in three boxes, we did pull one enchanted at least. Um, granted, it's a hat that probably a lot of people don't want. It's an item that nobody will want, but that usually is my law. I do pull a decent amount of enchanted, so I'm not really upset. Um, even yesterday, I pulled, I got in my tournament, I, uh, I in my rewards packs, I got a uh, enchanted Sisu. And the week before, I got Namara, uh, Namara, Namari, uh, the Steel Body uh, Girl who can attack directly, or not directly, but um, untap people. So I've been my enchanted luck has been pretty good. So I can't be too restrained on it, but um, yeah, I would like more, obviously, Mr. Peter Pan. Another Peter Pan. I'm okay. So Peter Pans just come together. If you get one rare, you're getting the other rare, uh, because that has happened in every pack. And then we got Mr. Shmi. So. One pack left. I'm going to kiss it for luck. And give me Ursula or Jafar again. That would be incredible. Very last pack luck. Let's uh, all the way to Orville, Windy, Friar Tuck, the Sorcerer's Tower, Lucky, Bell's House, and Gizmo Suit. I haven't seen that many Gizmo Suits. It's a common, so I probably have them. All right, that was box number three. Let's take a look at where we're at so far. We did get another Jafar. We did get an Ursula. We did get a Hollow Ursula. We got a Jim Hawkins, and we got an Enchanted Magical Sorcerer's Hat. Um, this pack, in comparison, I mean, like, look, we're going to go... Again, I'm just looking kind of quick math. Uh, normal Ursula, 45. Jafar, 55. That's nine, or 100 bucks right there. This is probably going to be like an $80 hollow if I had to guess. Um, and then Jim Hawkins is sitting at a low 30 bucks. He's not bad either. Um, and then Magical Hat. What is that at? We're going to sort this super quick. I'm just curious. There's no way that they have enough of these like on market to actually justify or say, hey, yeah, this is the cost. Rarity, Enchanted. Uh, Magical Hat at the moment sitting at $10 on TCG Player. I do not feel... Oh, that's the normal one. I'm like, I don't feel like that's accurate. So really, really good box. We got an Enchanted. We got two Ursulas and a Jafar. Let's see what box number four goes. What am I playing? So far, it's looking green. But honestly, I, if I can get that extra Jafar, that is not too bad. I may be playing with that too. So amazing, amazing box. I need to stop rambling. Let's go for box number four though. All right, so box number four. Let's see where we start all the way to the end. We're going to Huey again. Definitely got a place out of Huey. Stratos and Jim Hawkins. It's kind of frustrating to start to see. Like, I know I have a, a play set of Huey, and I'm just seeing more where there are two rares. I desperately, I still need, I need at least two morphs, and I'm pretty sure I need a, uh, 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 in, in, along came Zeus. And so it is getting a little annoying seeing Mr. Huey duck. Um, I have nothing against you personally, but we're starting to have a bit of a vendetta. So we're going to go to Kit Cloud Kicker, Mr. Smee. Hey, speaking of Zeus, we did get our playset of Zeus. And uh, we did get a playset of Genie. Maybe I'm playing Green Purple. I might be playing Green Purple this set because that Genie card is so good. And we got Ursula for the Hollow. Um, so we did get a playset of a Secret Rare, which is really kind of cool. Um, one of them I know is Foil, too, so... Not bad at all. Go to Wildcats, Jafar, Maui's Fishhook, Robin Hood, and Iago as the cold foil. Starting, the fatigue is definitely wearing on me a little bit. How do people open so many packs? That's insane. Oof. All right, going all the way, and they have better setups than me. Like I, I feel like my setup is, is it's very primitive. I have like this basic webcam I, is not the best by any means, um, but it's it, it does the job at least. Um, so, Treasure Guardian, Pyros, and Kita. That's a cool. I, I actually wouldn't mind getting a playset of her because I feel like she's just she's just Simba, um, but 
a really uh, just now Simba has their own steel or steel has Simba. Oops, I put these cards where they didn't belong. These go here. These go here. All right, all the way to we got Life Giver, um, our Heart of Atlantis. Fourth Scrooge McDuck is our super. And a Gyro. Um, okay. Mr. Scrooge wants to be played. So uh, that, that might be an option, honestly. No. I don't think I need Grandma for... A, unless I'm playing that variant of a deck. But let's go to... Friend Like Me from Genie. Another Lyle. Is that my fourth one of him? And ooh, okay. Speaking of Grandma, this is a foil. Another cold foil of a legendary card really exciting it is a grandma ta uh, tala um, i am interested in the, that deck quite a bit i don't know if i'm something i'm going to want to play on launch but i am definitely interested in uh, getting a foil one of those uh, we're going to put this in the sleeve really quick and uh that is a that's a pretty good pull so we did get two foil legendaries we, that box number two was crazy bad um in comparison to everything else all the way to the end, we got Hydros, we got Moana, we got Stitch, and Voyage. Okay, boring pack. Nothing exciting there. I need morphs at this point. Like, I am very surprised I have not seen any freaking morphs at all. Like, or I got two, but not enough of them. Um, we did get Sheriff of Nottingham to, for the OTK. We got a Madame Medusa, and we got Pua, who's just a cute pig. So more, we got two secrets again. That's pretty good. Um, we are, I think that might be two or three. And that's probably three of Madam and three of Nottingham. So our secret lock is we're filling out play sets of stuff that are probably going to be played as play sets. But Wildcat, Magicka Dispel, Map of Treasure Planet, Captain Hook, and a Robin's Hood, a Robin's Bow. One, two, three. We'll move that there. Right, we got Sorcerer's Hat, the non-enchanted version. We got it. Get our legendary uh, Mickey Mouse again, the Trumpeteer. Not the legendary I want, but it's the legendary I got. Um, that is two of them, and apparently he's pretty popular. I'm, there's something with them that I uh, I don't know about apparently. But we'll put these. And this is actually a cool cold foil because little hearts are shiny in different spots, like uh, the uh, this heart one. Um, the foil is just really nice. All right, I need another Ursula. Let me get a play set. That's all I really wanted out of this. Um, I just wanted a play set of Jafar or Ursula. Let's go here. We're going all the way to the end. With Magicka Dispel, we got another Rafiki, which I think wraps up our play set. We got Bernard and a Sorcerer's Top Hat. Uh, okay. Not what, I'm wa not what I'm looking for. All right, Genie, cramped in a lamp. Uh, Captain Hook's rapier. We got our third morph. Third morph. Okay, yeah. Um, there we go. And Ariel. And oh, wow. Okay. I was complaining about it, but I did get a cold foil with morph, and we have our playset. And a cold foil of morph, I feel like it's going to be pretty nice. So really cool. Oh, Ariel's there too. Um, yeah, we'll put her over there. <laughs> So we did get our playset of morphs. Um, we got a playset of genies. I think I'm doing. I'm probably very well doing green purple. Maybe not with Jafar um, as like a win condition, but uh, we got. We can definitely splash them in with two of. Uh, so we're going all the way to this tower, Madam Odie, the lamp. We're getting a lot of those, and Minnie Mouse. Maybe I make a genie Jafar draw deck with those lamps in green because I still have. I actually have a ho hollow, a foil uh, genie from set one. Um, that could probably get played a little bit. Going all the way to the end, we got Minnie Mouse. We got Hydra as our extra hollow. Eh, not the one I want to see. Again, this has been a bad pack for hollows, I guess. And Thaddeus. Uh, man, that Hydra. 
whenever this character is da dealt damage, deal that much damage to chosen opposing character. It, I, I, I think it. We have to learn how to use this card. There is a niche. It is a Titan card, or it's not even a Titan. It doesn't even consider a Titan. It's a little disappointing that it's not a Titan. Like maybe with like a Hades thing. It's, it's just Storyborn. It's not even a villain or anything. It's just. It doesn't have an archetype to it yet, so maybe there's some extra stuff. My packs are getting crazy overflowing. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll see. Oh, I'm gonna put this with the other legendaries at least. It is not. This has not been my favorite, but I did get a Hollow Morph. That's kind of neat. Um, let's hopefully get a Jafar or Ursula, or at least another Enchanted, because I feel like my ratio is a little off. And Little John, Maui rare. Simba Secret Rare and Helga Sinclair um, Cold Foil. Put those to the side. And going to, we got a Hades the Rare. Uh, Prince Eric, is that our playset of him too? We might be. And Sir Hiss, uh, not really special here. He is a 3 1. Um, he is an anti mini card, and I feel like Mini Mouse is going to be played a little bit. I don't know if it's better to play him or uh, the fid uh, Fidget or whatever his name is from the last set, the 3-2 evasive. All right. Sorcerer Tower, we got our fourth Pluto. That's really good. And we got a Milo Thatch. I think that does put us over five legendaries, but I'm not excited about him, unfortunately. And Captain Amelia. Um, I was more excited about Pluto than Milo. Man, that's, that's disappointing. This is one, two, three. That is... This is our fourth legendary in this set. So in last set, we got four and a... Um, I think four is just the magic number right now that we're seeing. So we are seeing our legendaries a little bit sooner than before, but they're not the legendaries I want. And so far, the wor one of the worst enchanteds I probably could have gotten, too. I would have rather a location enchanted or something. Uh, let's see. We got Simba. We got Pride Lands and Gramatala. Nothing pretty here all right we are down to of uh, this case we are down to six packs one two three one two three yep six packs left all right this is the final stretch guys we have six packs left let's see what we can get i would love to see another enchanted ursula or a, a ursula a jafar any enchanted would be great here at this point too uh, but in this box we got a gyroscopper sensor another chernabog i think that's my play set or at least three i don't know if i'd play four anyways and trigger not bad pack all right this is it i feel it we're gonna go um it's not gonna be an enchanted but we got a windy darling which i don't want to see we did get our fifth one uh, legendary of perdita uh so yellow is looking pretty good on the table at the moment um Maybe yellow green, uh, and then we got Tiana's place as the cold foil. So that is our fifth legendary. Uh, it's again not the legendary I was really hoping for, but honestly, I pull, I feel like I've pulled my money's worth pretty well so far, at least. Obviously, I would love to uh, to have gotten Jafar, and I would have loved to have gotten like any like uh, another Ursula. But we're down to five packs, so I'm not giving up hope yet. Um, or at least I need another Enchanted to kind of make it feel really good. But we got Audrey, Starlight, and Moana. Um, rare, cold foil, could be better. Three packs remaining. Uh, home stretch, please. Mwah. Give it a kiss for a look. And we are going to 99 puppies, Robin's bow, magic broom, fang, Ursula, and ugh, that is the worst pack I've seen. We're down to two. All the way to Madam Odie, Friar, the uh, Maui's place of exile, feet on your feet, and Maid Marian. Maid Marian. When you play this character, chosen character mice too. It's is she a princess? Yeah, she's at least a princess. All right, guys, last pack. I got five legendaries, one enchanted out of four boxes though. A whole case. Let's see where we sit with this final pack. It's toughest to open one yet. Okay. Pua. Voltor. Eeyore. Stitch. Milo. 
Joshua Sweet, Maui, the Queen, the Bayou, Cursed Merfolk. Merfolk. That is my third. Come on, give me something good. Little John as a super and uh, Devil Manor. All right, guys. I am going to do some organizing, and we are going to tally up what we got out of a case. And uh, I do feel like it's been worth it. Um, I am super happy with a lot of these legendaries, so let's just recap on these. So we got Perdita, Milo, a Hollow Grandma, and a Mickey Mouse, and a Titan on this pa on this box. We did get five. Um, everything else, we went four and a legendary. And this one was just horrible with four of. And then we got four of, though, the four of that nobody wants or that I didn't want. And then four of the stuff that I did want. So this is a pretty good box. But one legendary or one enchanted rare, that is so disappointing, man. Um, I honestly thought I would get at least two. So let's tally up everything and let's figure out the ratios. And hopefully this will help you do your own research. All right, so after the tally, this is kind of where we're sitting at our little ratio. I think I messed up somewhere uh, in counting like the hollow comments or anything, but I, I did manage to figure out where I messed up. But um, over here, I'm gonna show off a little chart that I made. It's not pretty, but it's a it's just a Google Doc. But uh, yeah, so the boxes might be a little bit off in terms of like the rare uh, the uh, which ones I got which as far as in the video, uh, which box I open. Uh, just because I had everything put aside in separate piles, but I, I think the legendaries could have gotten mixed up a little bit. But this is pretty as accurate as I think it is as it can be. So, in our slots, uh, we for box one of the boxes, box number we're just gonna call it box number one. I don't know which in what order I had box one on. Um, was we had 11 common fo cold foils, seven uncommon cold foils, 35 rares, three foil rares, 10 super hollows. Or I'm sorry, uh, 10 supers, uh, two super foils. Three legendaries and one legendary foil. No enchanted in box number one. Box number two. This was the bad one. We did not like this box whatsoever. Uh, but it was 13 common foils, six uncommon foils, 33 rares, three uh, super or super foils rares, uh, 11 supers, uh, two super foils, four legendary cards, none of which I wanted. And no legendary foil and no enchanted. That was 100% the worst box I've ever opened in anything. Um, from there, box number three definitely took a good turn. Uh, we got 11 cold foils of commons, six of the uncommons, 34 rares, five foil rares, 10 super rares, one super foil. Uh, the uh, legendaries, we got three of, of which we had a, a hollow Ursula and a non hollow Ursula. And we got one enchanted from that box. That one on the other side was probably the best box I could have opened. And number four, uh, we had 12 uh, common foils, seven uncommon foils, 33 rares, four cold foils, 11 supers, zero super foils in one of, that, one of those boxes, um, four legendaries, and one legendary foil. Unfortunately, we did not manage to get a playset of Jafar or Ursula, but we came pretty close getting three Ursula. It's pretty good. And two Jafar, I can work with that. Um, which, speaking of playsets, I wanted to kind of show this off because I w thought it would be interesting, um, and you don't really get to see it. So in four boxes, I managed to pull playsets of 12 rare cars, three super fo uh, super rares, and no legendaries, unfortunately. I think it's an interesting statistic. It's small, but I did get plenty of three ofs. Um, there are a lot of them that I only need like two or one more of. Uh, so it is interesting enough that you can get a case and get most of what you need. And if you're just a collector, I'm pretty confident I got one of almost everything. Uh, there's only like one or two legendaries that I don't think I pulled whatsoever. And that would have been like, uh, we got Goose. No, let's see. I'm trying to find it. Where is just the... Not enchanted. The lucky dime is the only one I did not pull whatsoever. So and oh, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, which is kind of unfortunate. I didn't know about that card, but I think I would have liked to play her. Uh, so there's only two legendaries that I missed out on through this entire set. So I think that uh, this is a lot bigger. Sorry. Yeah, those are the only two legendaries I didn't get out of this whole thing. So not bad by any means. Um, I am pretty. I'm pretty happy with my box. This is probably the a very up and down experience for me especially those first two boxes because uh, i didn't see the legendaries or anything good until the end 
So it was quite the roller coaster ride. So thank you guys all for joining me with that. I very much appreciate it. If you do want to see more content, um, I don't do box openings rarely ever. I know my webcam's not the best, but if you toughed it out with me, I definitely appreciate your time, and hopefully this information was helpful for you, or hopefully you just had fun and listening to my reactions. I didn't, I don't have the technology to do both face and camera reaction things, so whatever. I did what I could. So thank you again. Like and subscribe if you like all the Lorcana content. I also do Yu-Gi-Oh stuff too, um, and sometimes some wrestling stuff. I'm kind of just an all-rounder, but I just do this for fun. So take care, y'all. Peace out.